Uh, coming up is Poetry by Halima Salad. Um, Halima, we're very excited to have you this time. <laughs> last year, we, last time we had some complications with the Home Office, so uh, we're very happy and excited to have you this time with us. Um, Hali uh, Halima is an ex-Muslim Kenyan Somali. She was uh, in the closet until she came to the Netherlands three years ago and publicly declared so. She is a free thinker, a rebel, and a spoken word artist. Welcome, Halima. Works. Ah. Good. Hi. Um, thank you for the introduction, Nala. Um, I want to do a poetry called A Boy, a Village, a Death. But first, I'd like to kind of give a background story. Um, uh, it's, it's a very personal poem, and it's about uh, a gay boy, a teenager that I knew when I was a teenager. And I come from Kenya. I lived in Garissa, which is the northeastern part of Kenya. And it was a very small village. And yeah, within a Muslim community. And because I'm Kenyan Somali, um, there's a lot of homophobia. Um, if you think there's a lot of homophobia here, I want you to triple that by a thousand. And so this is that poem. There was a boy. There was his family. There was a village. There was a sheikh. There was Islam. Then there was this boy. His memory grievously entangled itself as a rope around his neck. Around his neck was a rope, a loss, a life not to be lived. There was a boy, and this boy was my friend when we were teenagers. He was funny weirdly beautiful, widely queer. As queer as he was, Allah didn't approve. The community didn't approve. The sheikh didn't approve. His family didn't approve. The village didn't approve. His entire being disapproved, rejected, shunned. And so, the rope it landed on his neck. Somewhere inside me, I felt the tightening of his life. There was, that was being snuffed and suffocated. A life not to be lived. And I can still feel the ripples of this tragedy causing me pain, robbing me of my friend over and over and over again. I'm sorry if I cry, but... <sighs> Back then, there was no word for it. There was no word for who he was. They called him Nag Nag. Meaning, women, women or double woman. Meaning he was not normal in their eyes. But in my eyes, in my eyes, in my eyes, he was just a funny kid, so hilarious, weirdly beautiful, widely queer. Here comes the memory of the rope again. The rope around his neck, that rope, me robbed, him gone. Back then, there was the shake. 
for you. Back then, there was the Sheikh. There was the family. There was an entire village. There was a fuss. There was them. Then there was us. He made me laugh. He made me laugh so hard I could not stop. I was naive and ignorant, and he was unsure of his own body. But always we had fun, laughing and talking and giggling and running. Him smiling, his gorgeous smile and his electric laugh. And yes, sometimes he was confused, but oh, so, 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 so lovely. I tried to kiss him once. Turns out he was into the boy next door. We almost died laughing at the absurdity of it all. He told me, I don't know why, but I feel nothing. I could not verbalize it. That I knew. I knew he was different. I knew that was okay. He was my friend. I loved him and he made me laugh. That rope again. The rope tangled around his neck. The rope, the pain, his face, all horribly, horribly gone. Every minute, every moment, every memory is a union of the rope and his character. The rope is painful. His character is beautiful. His tale strange and told with utter wit. On the day they found out is another vivid, haunting memory. They bit the crap out of him and the boy next door as well. They told my parents I wasn't allowed to hang out with them anymore. He's gone now. The rope around his neck, the dark mark of the whispers. He never got a chance to find answers to his wonderment. Remember, there was a village. In this village, there was a sheikh. And there were whispers about this lovely boy who, to me, is not nameless. He had a name. There was a boy in that village with his family and their sheikh within Islam. And his name was Abdi. His name was Abdi. His name was Abdi. Thank you.